Hello and welcome to Did You Say That Out Loud? This is Marette and I'll be spending a few minutes with friends and we're going to chat about life and kids and friends and travel and crazy topics and a few memories. So I can guarantee that you will laugh and you may learn a few things about what brings people together and what keeps them connected in their relationships and their faith walk. Hope you enjoy. So I'm, um, we're visiting um, Maravon. You grew up on the farm beside our farm. Yes. Um, your folks had lived there how many years before they what moved year off? were you born? I was born in 59. They were married in 29. Okay, so they lived there at the farm the whole time. 30 years. Wow. So you remembered when I was born or no? Not really. I'm not sure. Your birthday is what year? January 59. 59. No. I would have been married and had moved away. Okay. So Janelle was the youngest. Because I remember Janelle more than anything. Yes. Janelle's 15 years younger than I am. That's why I would have remembered her Mm -hmm. more. But my memory, other than the fact, did your mother ever tell you the story of how she named me? Yes. We've heard it many times. Many times. (laughs) She'd call every day and ask whoever answered the phone, have you aimed that baby yet? And I think finally LaVon said, no, we need help. So mother hung up the phone, Marsha, Mar, what could she, and she came up with Mara. That's, hmm. that's my understanding. And, and that's she, about the story that we were told. Um, the bigger story was my parents were arguing. My mother wanted oh, well, Michelle. Mother. And my dad wanted Michael, so they were in a stalemate, which is why they couldn't. They couldn't, and I was two weeks old. Before I know. she called every day, she told me to <laughs> yeah. name that poor child yet. Yeah, that kid without a name. So we lived. I don't know how many feet it was, but it was the next farm. So as a kid, my favorite memories were running away from home to Rosenwaltz. And because when I went to your mom and dad's place, I was important. Oh, you were just one of a group. (laughs) I would help them sort eggs. Sure you broke one now and then? I'm really never sure if I helped, but we'd go to the basement, Mm -hmm. which is I'd I'd come in that, that, the front door, and they'd be in the basement, I'd walk down the basement, and we would sort eggs. How many years did they do chickens? Oh dear, in fact, I'm not sure I can remember when Dad gave up the cows. They did it for quite a while after. They kind of rented things and didn't farm, which was a blessing because the coffee pot was on and everyone <clears throat> that knew that they had eggs would come by them and Mother would have calmer rolls or something, you know. Mm-hmm. So they never got lonely. They always had people in and out. and. For years, we didn't realize what a blessing it was for everyone. You know, they came over and Tootie Hargens and relatives, they'd drive and get eggs from mother, so. And and I was, most of the time I was sent to go get eggs, but I remember more often than not going over to visit <laughs> because I was this little kid and always had cookies. Yeah. And then after we were done working, we went upstairs and the one thing that I remember more than anything was the backwards clock. Oh, yes, they had that for years. And that I thought was really cool. I'm sure the backward clock got lost when they moved off, when Mother moved out. Well, I think I asked her about it one time, and she said kids had dibs on it because all the grandkids, I think, thought that clock. I'm not sure where it went if it was there because, well... There was too much in the house to remember something. Yeah, and I don't remember much else. I remember being in the house, but most of my life was... The kitchen. Going in the basement to count eggs and the kitchen. Um, but I would... Um, I'd, I'd stop and see your mom a lot. And um, one year especially, um, your mom sent out... It was a Christmas card with a baby on it, and your family is very large. So I have no clue which baby. baby it was. But... At our house, several years when the kids were little, I'd save all the Christmas cards. And then we'd put them under their plates several nights a week. And then after we're done eating, there was a, like a postcard. 
and the kids would write a prayer to whoever they got the Christmas card. It was just something fun we did. And so one time, Tyler got your mom's card. And then they'd take him and put him in their rooms. So they, you know, and they all knew who Rose was. And so that winter, we went to visit her before Christmas, took over something, and we were in Casson at the, wherever that place was. And so, of course, what do you do with older people? You get out photo albums. And your mom had photo albums of us kids, and we were, so we're going through this. And we came upon the picture that was her Christmas card. And Tyler looked at her with the funniest look and said, well, you're the lady I prayed for. <laughs> and your mom thought that was so funny. <laughs> but uh, one other time when she was at the Chickas place in, in West Concord, I took my violin. And uh, I was just viol- fiddling, and, and she wasn't probably as with it anymore. No, I'm sure not. And I'd get done playing, and I'd say, did you like that, Rose? She'd look at me and go, No. She was very honest. So I I would do another song, and she'd say, I'd say, did you like that rose? No. <laughs> no. But, she, uh, uh, we were so lucky that they would keep her until she passed away. You know, most places would say you need to take her to a, a care center. But she'd been there 14 years, so she was kind of their family. I would walk up that ramp and I would tap on the window and she'd be there and wave and wave and yeah, wave you know, and uh, we were very fortunate that we didn't have to we asked a couple of times you know is this getting to be too much because they only had one person on duty a lot of times no 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 we'll keep her and they even in her final days would every two hours turn her in the night so she didn't get yeah that was a that was a wonderful thing so you grew up with um, my aunt and my dad. Mm-hmm. Um, and I know the one thing um, that you guys moved stuff out of the barn before the barn burnt, and I got the, the pram, the wicker pram. You remember that? Mm-hmm. It's now my son. When yes. they had their baby girl, we passed it down to them. They wanted it. So um, That was originally from your grandparents. Okay? I think so. I think, yeah, you guys traded that. Yeah, because I remember mother saying it actually was camels. Well, back in the day, neighbors did a lot more with neighbors. And that, that neighborhood the interaction was, was much better back then. Um, well, you relied on each other to, mm-hmm. to do things. Yeah. The threshing, the working. I have pictures of the threshing with them in on these old mattresses or something on the lawn. Uh, resting, lunch hour. And, you know, it's Vern Miller and Rick Maddie and Bob Maddie and Lester Derby. And so it's really, I've just been sorting pictures of my kids and I've put them. And then I did that storybook thing uh-huh. that you do on the computer. And so I used those pictures in there. It's written very simply. Uh, I just sat down and talked like I am now. <laughs> And we've, it's been printed once, but we have to make the corrections to reprint. But it's history, and it's kind of neat. I talked to the fashion bees, and there's a video somewhere that I think Dennis Maddy gave yes. my brother, and that's really kind of cool. One of my funniest memories of your mom, and I, your dad might have been alive then too, but it was your mom I think that was the funniest part. So we got snowed in, and I don't remember, but I was young. And for Highway 57 to get snowed in was quite quite a piece. And so we walked over to the Wixers' house, because that's what you do, because both of our driveways were snowed in. And we got over there, and that little, from where you stood at your lawn, you could look right over to the field. It was filled. Totally filled. And your mom had called and told them they needed a road grader. Or, or a rotary blower. A rotary blower. And they sent a truck. <laughs> She, I think she probably called him back and said, I told you not to say this. Because <laughs> here that was stuck there, too. And, yeah, one of the funniest things I remember was, was just, uh, well, thanks for talking to me about the old days. Yeah, there's a lot. I'm glad I can still remember them, but there's a lot of good old stories. There are, and yeah. it's good to tell them while we, while we, can, while we can remember them. Yeah.